you are the salt of the earth, but if the salt has lost its savor, wherewith shall it be salted? It is henceforth good for nothing and to be cast out and trodden under the foot of man. So you are the salt and man is something totally different from you. Because if you are the salt and you've lost your savor and you can't be salted anywhere, you will be cast out and trotted under the foot of man. I came up with that conclusion in the continued research of my blood, my blood type, what they say my blood type means, and all the different agencies that have used um, and cloned and um, researched my blood like CRISPR, okay, my blood type was accepted until I start going live and letting y'all know how I'm researching my blood type through the raw data, through 23andMe and all the affiliates that it let me know that I was using and researching my blood. So I came upon the word halo and I know it's halo nephlic or halo nepha the um archaea or archaea which um is a bacteria that thrives in the environments with salt concentrations of protein saturation such as natural brines the dead sea um salt lakes and marine solar um saltums and it's also found in um, their so-called space atmosphere. So when the raw data stated that my blood type can be traced back to 21 million years, according to this halo um, archaea information that CRISPR accepted and um, the world governments accepted, they no longer accept it after 2022. So it's no longer accepted. What does that mean? This is the information that it's saying about this um, 21 million plus 250 million according to their time and space that this archetype is no longer accepted as of 2022. Huh? <laughs> you are the salt of the earth. But if the salt has lost its savor, wherewith shall it be salted? It is thenceforth good for nothing but to be cast out and trotted under the foot of man. <laughs> 